Thanks for hanging with me for another review. This is a 1984 Netherlands Lifeboat Ration. This ration hasn't been filmed on YouTube before, so this should be interesting. If you are enjoying my videos, please consider subscribing. I really would appreciate it. Okay, let's get into it. First up, let's have a look at this from the outside. And right at the top here will be the manufacturer, which is Vercade. Vercade are a biscuit manufacturer in the Netherlands, and they still to this day manufacture biscuits for the commercial market. Now, I don't know if they still make survival rations, but at this time, they certainly did. Uh, there is some English on the front here, and just in case you can't read it, I'll read that out for you. Uh, this box contains the survival ration in a waterproof airtight bag. The box protects the bag against mechanical damage and should not be removed. Uh, instructions for use can be found inside. Uh, and inside are food tablets and glucose tablets. Uh, here we have the United States Coast Guard certificate number. And then we have some foreign languages there. And also on the side there, and on this side as well. And on the back, it does say, this survival ration is approved by shipping authorities in the following countries. And then it goes about listing those. On the bottom here, it lists the manufacturer again, and it states that it was manufactured in Zandam in Holland and it has a net weight of one kilogram. On the top here, it lists uh, the manufactured date there of November 1984. So this ration is around 36 years old. Uh, it also lists a lot number there. Now it goes on to say here, this survival ration holds manufacturer's guarantee for five years from the month of production as indicated on the top of this box. This guarantee does not overrule the requirements for the replacement that may be uh, laid down by shipping inspection authorities and is subject to proper storage and cardboard box not being removed. So with a five year uh, shelf life, uh, this is 31 years past its use by. Okay, these are like the instructions, which are plastic, which is very handy considering uh, that you might be in a situation where uh, obviously your instructions getting wet and being damaged uh, wouldn't be ideal. So it's a great idea to actually have these um, uh, instructions in plastic form. Now we do have uh, multiple languages on here. Uh, we have some English here, um, and it states on here, it might be possible that in the case of seasickness, dental problems or wounds, the foodstuffs of this ration cannot be eaten as suggested in this leaflet. Note, glucose tablets easily solve in a, oh, that must be dissolve in a little drinking water. Um, and that glucose ration may replace part of the ration in such cases. Uh, on the other side here, we have obviously uh, some different languages and we also have uh, English section here. And it states, contents 24 tablets, concentrated food, 12 tablets, glucose. Uh, recommended ration, four tablets, concentrated food, every four hours per person, two tablets of glucose, every 24 hours per person. And then it goes on to describe how you go about uh, consuming it. Take about every two hours, one quarter a tablet glucose per person. Let it melt slowly in the mouth. Take every six hours one tablet of concentrated food per person, break it into small pieces, chew well. Do not drink water during the first 24 hours unless injured or ill. After that time, no more than half a litre every 24 hours when the supply is nearly exhausted. No more than one tenth a litre every 24 hours. 
Never drink seawater, not even mixed with fresh water. So there you go. And obviously this is the ration in here. Let's see if we can get that out. Alrighty, there you go. Uh, nothing else in there. And obviously it comes sealed in a foil bag here. And again, pretty much the same information that was on the outside of the packaging there. And same again on the back. Uh, at the top here, obviously we've got some arrows here that describe the way that we are to get in. Now it does look like there is something that's possibly leaked onto here, so that's hopefully uh, not from inside. But anyway, let's pull this apart and we'll see how we go. All right, I might have a quick smell of that first. Oh yeah, that gone bad. Yeah, there's a real bleachy chemical um, smell coming from that. And you can see there's some discoloration there already. So I don't have a lot of faith that these are gonna be any good. But anyway, let's continue. Uh, I'll just put them out onto here. Oh, they're very greasy as well. Oh, that smell. Yeah, they're not getting any better. There you go, there's the four, and there's also another four in there. We'll see if we can get those out. Oh boy, they smell bad. There you go, there's all eight of those. And we obviously have our uh, glucose tablets as well. Hopefully these aren't as bad as the um, biscuits. All right, and that's pretty much the, the uh, contents there. All right, let's have a look at one of these biscuits. Maybe the one at the bottom might be a bit nicer than the one at the top. Um, well, anyway, here's hoping. I mean, they look good. There's nothing, uh, no discoloration or anything that looks um, overly bad. Now that I've got it out of its packaging, let's have a quick smell. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, yeah, it's, it's such a hard uh, smell to describe. It's sort of a chemical, sort of a moth-ball-y sort of smell. Um, you know, they look great. Uh, I really do want to try one, and I feel that with my reviews, I really need to try everything, even though it's going to be bad. Oh, I, I can always spit it out. So, anyway, here goes. I'll try a little bit. I'll probably end up spitting it out, but anyway, here we go. Oh, no, no. All right, hang on. Well, that, <laughs> that was bad. I mean, I knew it was gonna be bad, but you know, I just wanted to try it. And you know, I took a small bite, as you can see, it's only a real small bite. And the first second it was in my mouth, I'm going, yeah, this is good, this is good. And then no, it hits you straight away. It's just this, it's so it's such a it's such hard to describe uh, that in your mouth because most people don't eat this sort of expired food but um, it, it's a real sharpness and a real chemical and a real stink like it's a real stench to it and it sort of coats your whole mouth but um, never let it be said that I didn't try uh, everything inside a ration um, so that that are good uh, these on the other hand. These might be all right. So these are the glucose tablets. Um, so let's have a look at one of these. There you go there. So there's three of these uh, larger tablets uh, and inside one of these packs and there's four of these packs. So um, let's have a bit of a smell of one of those. Yeah, that smell that's inside this has uh, obviously gone into this. There was obviously these weren't vacuum sealed or anything. So that smell has permeated through this as well. Um, but anyway, I've got to try it. So let me give this a go. 
Yeah, that's all right. It's not really all right, sorry. Look, it's edible, you know. Yeah, it certainly is. Um, you can still get that little bit of smell and flavor from those biscuits, but you know what? It's just compressed sugar. Uh, so it, it uh, is so sweet that it masks that stench that uh, obviously was in the biscuits. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, look, it tastes all right. It's just the smell of it. Now, once you've taken it away from your nose, it's not so bad, but when you get it to your nose, that smell of those things just permeates from it. But it tastes fine. You can't taste it. Um, you can only smell it. So, um, yeah, that's all right. Mmm. Yep, they're good. There is no flavor to them at all. Um, they do have the stink of the biscuit, but they don't have their own um, smell. Sadly, these didn't last. Now, I didn't think they would. They are 31 years past their use-by date, and they're 36 years old. So no one ever expected them to, to last. Um, and looking at this packaging, uh, you can sort of see that it probably wasn't uh, stored well either. These are probably stored in somebody's shed for years and years after it was pulled off of some sort of life raft. Um, so, you know, you never expect these things to last. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.